As a chicken farmer, you may have come across with problems specifically concerning mites in your flock. Some of the common signs are dirty-looking vent feathers, a pale comb, a change in appetite, weight loss, decreased egg production, feather pulling, bald spots, redness on skin. The good news is that mites and lice can be easily treated and eliminated from your chicken coop. Just to clarify, mites and lice does not necessarily mean that you are keeping a dirty coop because these parasites can also be carried by other animals and even birds as well. In today's video, we are going to learn ways in which to prevent these parasites from attacking our flocks and even decreasing their survival rate in our chicken coops. Mites and lice are commonly brought into backyards by wildlife animals, especially birds, and to prevent the spread of these parasites. Here are a couple things you can do. Clean your chicken coop regularly. Try at least two times in a week. Disposition of any loose feathers, because they may carry hatching eggs. It's advisable to burn any loose feathers that will come from cleaning your chicken coop. In this way, you will be sure to have eliminated any mite eggs. Do not attract any wildlife, and especially birds from coming near your chicken run. You can easily do this by ensuring that the chicken feeders are kept in an enclosed place where birds can't reach them, because chicken feed is the one thing that mostly attract birds. You should make a desk bathing area in your chicken coop or anywhere in your chicken run or even find a nice spot in your backyard and install a desk bathing area. Dust baths are important to keep parasites at bay and to clean the your chicken's feathers as well. The process helps to control parasites and prevents the feathers from becoming too oily. Always make sure that you quarantine new birds before introducing them to the Rest of the flock, the introduction of disease to your poultry flock is always a risk when introducing new birds. To reduce the chance of introducing disease, it is best practice to quarantine the new birds before introducing them to your main flock. Another natural and totally organic thing you can do to get rid of parasites in your flock is by adding wood ash in your chicken's dust bath. Charcoal or wood ash added to your chicken's dust bath helps to suffocate parasites such as mites, lice, fleas, and ticks. Both of these powdery substances help to significantly cut down on insects living on your chickens. Wood ash can come from your wood stove or an outdoor fire pit. Any wood ash will do, but do make sure it's cool and dry. Another thing you can do to get rid of these parasites is by adding crushed garlic in your chicken's feeders. The crushed garlic or garlic powder are very powerful anti-parasites that will help to kill mites in your chicken. You can make a garlic juice by crushing cloves of garlic and adding water. And then spray to the affected chicken areas. To treat the chickens themselves, spray them with a garlic juice mixture. This treatment has been found by poultry scientists in the UK to have a 100% kill rate over 24 hours. This can be used as a treatment and also as an ongoing preventative. Another thing you can do to get rid of mites in your chicken coop is by using diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth, also known as D, is a type of rock, a type of sedimentary rock that, when it is crushed, creates a white powder that can be sprinkled into your chicken's dust bathing area or even directly onto their feathers, and it will get rid of any parasites that may be attacking your flock and just the mites. But any external parasites that may attack your chickens, these could be mites, lice, or any other external parasite. Another thing to do is simply keeping your coop clean. As we mentioned earlier, make sure that you clean your chicken coop at least two times in a week. Because just like with humans, your chickens don't get lice because they're dirty. Mites or lice can easily latch on to your birds. From other animals or other wild birds. It's also important to note that when mites or lice are found on one of your Birds, then the entire flock must be treated. You can do this by spraying the garlic juice on all of your birds. And also make sure that you spray the entire chicken cube. 